Hello everyone, this is Yolanda from the Offcraft channel and today's tutorial is how to make this little cow and it's made with a little uh, double cross puff stitch. I hope you'll really like it. It's really fun. It's very warm and um, you're just going to be making uh, a long rectangle that we're going to be adding our buttons and I hope you could see the stitch. Let me see if I could get closer so you could see the stitch. It's just a really neat pattern. It like crosses over itself. So I hope you guys will enjoy this tutorial. Um, so let's get the party started. Okay everyone, to get started, we're gonna be using a size J hook and it's a six, uh, six millimeters, I think it's a size 10. I'm going to be using a medium weight yarn and I'm using this uh, Red Heart Super Saver. Um, and uh, you're gonna need about between four and five ounces or maybe more if you make it bigger. Um, this can also be used, uh, you can also use this pattern to make it smaller for a child or larger for a, a man. You, if you use a chunkier yarn, then you need to go ahead and use a K yarn, uh, excuse me, a K hook, and then reduce your number of rows to just eight rows instead of 10. Okay, the important thing to remember is that your chain, your starting chain, has to be an odd number, okay? No even numbers. To begin this one then, we're going to go ahead and chain 65. This fits me, if you want it to be looser, it's pretty warm around my neck because I'm gonna use it under a jacket. If you want it looser, then you could make it, um, you know, 75. I mean, that might be too big, but. So to begin, I'm gonna start with 65 chains and you want to make sure you chain your first 65 chains kind of loose don't do them too tight or else it, it's going to be hard to get your stitches in there to begin then you do your yarn over wrap your yarn over your hook so see how it's kind of loose that's how i would do it so i'm going to go ahead and do my 65 chains you guys go ahead and start see i'm not doing them too tight and then we'll come back and we'll show you how to work your rows i think you're really going to like this stitch it comes out really puffy and it's just really pretty you can also use the same uh, stitch to make a long scarf just make sure that your beginning chain is an odd number and then you decide how long you want it so go ahead and make your first 65 chains okay I'm going to demonstrate to you on a small small little uh, piece I've already done my large piece here and so instead of having to wait till I do all of those this is the same pattern you're going to follow just using I'm just doing it in a miniature so this is um I hope you could see the stitches it looks really neat it like crisscrosses it's really neat so here I have done my odd number of chains to begin then you're going to begin doing a double crochet um uh, decrease in the third chain excuse me the fourth chain from the hook remember this first three is considered a double crochet so here's one two three on this fourth chain and then we're going to the fifth chain we're going to skip the fourth we begin on the fifth chain from the hook to do your double crochet you're going to wrap your hook around your yarn you're going to put your hook in there you're going to pull out your yarn there's going to be three loops of yarn on your hook you're going to pull through the first two there'll be two left but i don't want you to pull it through yet because we're doing two in the same stitch so now you're going to wrap your hook around your yarn once again, go through there. Now you're going to have four loops of yarn on your hook. You're going to pull through the first two. There'll be three left and now you're going to pull through the last three. There you go. And now we're going to work backwards. It's a crisscross, kind of like the crisscross puff beanie. Now you're going to wrap your yarn around your hook. You're going to do another double crochet, but you're going to do it in the chain that you just skipped, which is chain number four. Okay, so here I'm going to the chain that I skipped. I'm pulling out my yarn. There'll be three loops there. I'm going to pull through the first two. There'll be two left. I'm going to wrap my yarn around my hook again. Go back into that same stitch. Okay, there'll be four on my hook. I'm going to pull through the first two. There'll be three left. I'm going to pull through my next two. And so you could see how on this side of the yard, on uh, this side of the work, it looks like your, your stitch is going that way. If I flip it over, then it's going that way. So see how it's crisscrossing in front of the other. This is, you're going to repeat this all the way across doing the same thing. You're going to skip the next chain and the chain after that, you start your crisscross stitches again. Pull through two, leave those two, go back in there again. You'll have four on your hook, 
pull through the first two, there'll be three, pull through the next three. Now you're going to go back and work on the chain that you skipped. Wrap your yarn around your hook, go into your chain, sorry guys, here, you're going to pull out your yarn, there'll be three loops, you're going to pull through the first two, there'll be two loops, you're going to go back in there again, remember we want two double crochets in every chain, there'll be four loops, you're going to pull through two, there'll be three left, and now you're going to pull through the next two. This is how you're going to repeat all the way across. So basically it's like doing, uh, you're going to be doing two double crochets in there, but it's like a, um, what you would call a decrease in every chain. And you're going to be skipping your next chain. You start working on the second chain. When you do the stitch there, then when you come for your next crisscross, you go back to the one you skipped. Okay, so I'm going to continue doing that here. I'm pulling, I'm pulling out through two. There's two left. I'm going back in there again. There's four on my hook. I'm pulling through two, then through the last remaining three. Now I come back and I work on this stitch that I skipped. Wrap around, go in there. Okay, pull out my yarn. There'll be three loops. I'm going to pull through two, wrap my yarn again, wrap my hook, yarn over, pull out. There's four on my hook. Pull through two. There's three left and pull through the next three. So I'm going to continue doing that all the way to the end. We're going to repeat this for 10 rows. If you think 10 is too thick, you can make it shorter by doing only eight rows. So let me go ahead and continue to the end and then I'll show you how we move from row to row. Guys, I think I got cut off there. So here's my last two double, my two chains here, my last two stitches. And this is a chain three, do not work on that one. Don't go in there, we're leaving that alone. So here to go up to our next row, you're gonna chain one, two, three, turn your work over and repeat row two until you have 10 rows. Leave this one empty, so then you're gonna start on that chain, then go back to this one, then after you do that one, you work this one, then that one you're gonna be, <laughs> excuse me, crisscrossing your stitches. So go ahead and do that until you have 10 rows and then I will come back and show you how to put it all together. Okay everyone I'm coming to my last two stitches. So here's my last chain. So there I do my two double crochets in there and go back and crisscross in my last second to the last chain there. Okay, so this is my 10 rows. So um, uh, now that I have that, I can go ahead and let me get my scissors here and cut this off. I'm gonna tie this off in here, okay? So once you secure it, then you're gonna um, go ahead and sew in your tails. So um, remember, you can also use this stitch to make a, a long um, scarf if you want. You don't have to make it as thick. It's totally up to you. So this is what it should look like. Let me see if I can move back out here. So here I have my scarf, okay? So remember that this, where the tail is, we're going to flip it over. This is the right side, okay? So here is where we're going to, you're just going to basically get your right side here with your tail there. And you're going to bring it over kind of like a triangle like that. Okay, so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to get my buttons. You can get whatever color buttons if you can even crochet them if you like. And I'm just going to um, put um, probably one or two here, maybe one, two there. And then I also like to put one on the bottom here to hold my my scarf from moving everywhere and I'm just going to button it through there okay so I have my yarn needle and I'm just going to get a piece of yarn I want the matching yarn okay and this um, I used that super saver the seven ounce and it probably used not even half of it so I'm thinking maybe with you know five ounces or less you could probably make this so here I'm just threading my needle and I'm just basically going to put in my buttons there. What, remember, you want to make sure you're under a space where you can, um, you're going to be pulling them through here. 
So I'm just going to go ahead and put in my buttons here. Go through the back here. And remember with buttons, um, you want it to leave it a little bit loose because you want it to be able to, not loose, but let me show you what I mean here. Here, when I bring it here through the back, now I'm going to tie this up. Make sure it doesn't come off. Okay, and then when I go back here, back into my button, and people do it differently, I'm going to put just twice. Okay, come back out. And now I'm going to go back out, but this time, what I'm going to do here is that I'm going to wrap my yarn around my button several times, maybe two or three times, and then bring it back down again. And what that does is it gives you a little bit of a separation so that it's easier to button your buttons. Okay, now once I have this, I'll go ahead and tie my remaining tail. I'm going to button up, I'm going to sew my two more, two other buttons. Okay, and what I like to do here is maybe put a little bit of fray check to make sure it's not going to um, fall apart. So here, when you do that little looping in there, I don't know if you could see that it kind of separates the button up. So now I'm going to go ahead and sew my other button. Uh oh, I just dropped it somewhere here. <laughs> so here's my first button. And let's see if I could put it this way. And now I'm going to sew my next button. So that one, see, once it's there, you just bring it out through there. You're going to button it there and it's going to hold on. And I'm going to put my other button here, not all the way to the end, because that way, let me show you what I mean. So instead of putting my button way up here, I'm going to put it like more maybe here. And then that way when you wear it, you could even cuff this down, kind of like that, okay, if you think it's too high. So I'm going to put my next button here, and then one there, and then one maybe here, just so that this part isn't slipping out and getting loose. So this button that's coming out here will be here. So go ahead and sew your three buttons and you'll be done. And then I'll, and then um, hopefully I'll just put it on and I can show you what it looks like. Okay, everyone, I've sewn in my three buttons. So that's how it's gonna look on the right side. And then you're just gonna fold it over and then you can, um, with your, in your spaces, then you're gonna just button in your buttons. Use the same um, spaces for your buttonholes. And then I put one here just so it doesn't start going down a lot. And now, of course, you would just put this around your neck. If you want to bring this down, you can. And okay, this I have finished sewing on my buttons to my right side. So you're going to have two here and then one up here just to hold your bottom piece over. You're going to put it, your head would be here. This would be around your neck. You're going to fold it over like this kind of like you're wearing a poncho and then you could button here and button your other button there and the one in the bottom okay and the reason we left this remember a little bit further from the edge so if you want if you think it's too thick you can also bring down your little wrap around your neck scarf this way and then it's all ready to be wore, to be worn and like I said, you can use this stitch also to make um, a bigger scarf. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. This makes a great gift. You could probably make it with about maybe four ounces or um, five ounces. So um, I hope you enjoyed this. Please be sure to hit the like button and hit the subscribe. Help me grow my channel by sharing my videos with your friends and your family and getting them to subscribe. Remember, you can also wear it up like this if you want it to be kind of like a, a cowl around your neck. So here would be on your neck. And I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. And don't forget that God loves you.